Hey, this is Alexander Carpenter, Executive Director of Spectrum and the Adventist Forum. I want to thank Anton for all these great vlogs and thank you for watching as we've been walking through Spain on this Easter week. God bless. We're stopping here for some uh, photo sessions by a some kind of monument. Should be 13 kilometers or so left. But this is uh, like an... Uh, we're getting there mentally as well. Okay, I'm stopping here under a bridge and some people have put a uh, stand up here. They say souvenirs. I'm gonna try to buy something. But they also do uh, steps and let me show you how they do it. coffee stop before Santiago we have less than 10 kilometers to go how do we feel about it <laughs> we're good we're good we're, we're good we're almost there and the Sun is out <laughs> yes uh, we're gonna be dry today hopefully <laughs> can you see it it's exactly 10 kilometers left but it feels like we're there almost already but it's still another what two hours to go Okay, the thought of the day is not gonna be too much complicated. It's really like about about gratitude, really, and uh, pushing through. You know, we started, we had a very good sunny day, and after that it was raining and grey and muddy, and now all of a sudden on our last few uh, kilometers to Santiago, there's sun, and all of a sudden you you feel like you feel like um, very happy. I talked to someone just just briefly here that and she was saying well we forget the sunny part and we don't really uh, spend too much time on the rainy days. Uh, it's not part of the memory so I guess I guess we can learn from that in our lives that yes we go through rainy days, muddy days, uh, gloomy times but we remember the good times, the good days, mostly. So I guess that would be the simple thought of the day. So Santiago, uh, follow this. In Swedish, he's called uh, Jacob. In English, it's James. In Spanish, it's Iago. Uh, so Saint Iago, it becomes Santiago. And Compostela, I, I confirmed with the knee, means uh, field, a field of uh, stars. So literally, Santiago is Saint James' uh, field of stars. You can do whatever you want with that information. I think it's just a funny fact. We have to find shelter under a roof because it's simply pouring down rain. And we're about like 20 minutes. We're still, we're in Santiago now, but <sighs> rain, come on. Here's something interesting, but you gotta be, pay attention when you walk, otherwise you just walk by. Europe was made on the pilgrim road to Compostela. So that's how deep uh, the, uh, the Camino is to the, to the history of Europe. It's incredible. We are doing something historical, we are doing something cultural, we are doing something social, we are doing something spiritual by doing this. We are 
several days of walking is finally finished. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm not gonna try to explain because you have to do it yourself. So now we've, when we soaked in the moment here at in the plaza, we are gonna go and get our pilgrim credentials. Uh, you know, you have to have two stamps in your passport each day. And after that, you go to a certain place here, you get your credentials that you are, that you made it. I am Pilgrim 616, uh, uh, arriving to Santiago today to get my credentials. Here it is. And from now on, I will be called Antonium. That's it for me. Thank you, Spectrum Magazine. Uh, Max Adventures, Alexander, Carmen and everyone else who has organized and taken part in this uh, uh, Camino. My message to you is may the road rise to meet you. So I hope the Camino will see you in the future.